Just, just do it. Just, just do it. wake up and do it. So thank you all <laughs> so much. Welcome. Congrats on the show, me. by the way. Thank you. All right, uh, how about we get into this? The Real Housewives of Potomac. Folks, <laughs> the girls are fighting again. We want to bring in producer Chris to find out who is misbehaving in Potomac this time. It was funny because this popped up on my timeline, mm -hmm. uh, Chris, and I'm like, wait a minute, I know these, I know some of these people. <laughs> yeah, I know, right? <laughs> and they're friends of this station, so we're definitely going to have to have them in to find out all the tea. But like you said, once again, Potomac is bringing the drama. So an epic fight at Zibby's Garden in D.C. last Thursday. Take a look at it. Erupted during the launch of Ashley Darby's fashion line, okay? So we'll have to get the tea the next time she's here in studio. You see it all going down. Fists flying. TMZ mm. obtained the exclusive footage. The fight was not between the main cast, though. It was between friends of the cast members, Kiana and Deborah. Ashley and Candace Dillard actually tried breaking up the fight, you can see, to no avail. And get this, TMZ Ooh. says production Ooh. had already wrapped so the fight was not even caught by Bravo's uh, camera. Uh, so uh, we'll uh, see if it still becomes a storyline or not. But guys, what do you make of I this? I can picture the producer saying, wait, 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 can you guys do that right? again? Do it. Yeah. <laughs> what do you mean you put your camera away? Get, get out, the bottle get again out. for me if oh, you can just man. do that. I'm not going to lie. Mm. I um, slowly rewound it that clip several times <laughs> to try to figure out who was doing what right. where. I did see someone grab a bottle. Oh, I, yes. Yeah. I saw that too. <laughs> Okay, I'm trying to put the outfits with the hair to try to see. You're right, it was friends of the show that yeah, did it. Yeah, and yeah. sometimes that gives the drama because, you know, they might not really get in trouble. They don't have that big Bravo contract. Right. So they can bring the drama and you can kind of just live off of that. But if the cameras weren't rolling, honey, we're going to have to do this again. Mm -hmm. <laughs> wow, guys, that I'm is being pretty told, intense. I'm being told Ashley will be here Friday. So oh. No, we're going to talk okay. to her all about that. Duly noted. All right, now let's move on to some more Real Housewives. These are the Real Housewives of New York. And the question we have is, how open are you in your marriage, okay? It's a little misleading, but for at least one cast member, flirting is encouraged. This is new cast member Erin Leachy. She says she and her husband Abe have no secrets and they go as far as flirting with other people. Not only flirting with other people, then they tell each other about who they flirted with. In a Page Six interview, Leachy says a little flirtation is okay because the couple is very confident in their relationship. They even talk about their flirty encounters with each other. Leachy says if anything, she hopes her hubby doesn't let his appearance on the reality show boost his ego because she says she already gets people coming up to her saying he's cute. Is flirting okay, guys? Is flirting okay in the relationship? Uh, initially, I want to say no. But then I started thinking, you must have so much confidence and emotional security in that marriage for you guys to kind of be able to go home and, and, and talk about that yeah. and laugh about it, mm -hmm. you know, during, you know, uh, pillow talk. Mm -hmm. So maybe that's a level of confidence that I've just never had. Uh -huh. <laughs> I do have I, I do have a friend. She and her and her significant other encourage this, and she says it makes everything that much spicier. Mm -hmm. As long as it stays there, no numbers are exchanged, okay. nothing like that. So there's um, strict ground rules. But it makes yeah, there there are boundaries set, and what you're okay with, what you're not okay with. What do you what do you think? I think it depends on who it is. I think there's people that you know that your your spouse is comfortable flirting yeah. with. Yeah. You're about, you know what I mean? And then there's the it's there's a whole lot of shades of gray, but I think you mm -hmm. definitely can kind of tell when the flirting has crossed the line oh, yeah. and you're not comfortable with and it. And what is right? I, so I don't that, think it's a hard yes or no. That brings yeah. up a good point, though. Your, what is your definition of flirting? Because <laughs> mm -hmm. it's what so, you're, yeah. what you consider flirting, I might consider first base. So I'm just, True. I'm just oh, saying. Right. True. Okay. So be clear on what it is. Well, what about you, Chris, as the newlywed? Wow. Well, See, I was trying to spare you. I'm not so sparing far, you. We're, we're still question. in the bubble right now. We're still in the bubble right now. <laughs> good answer. They only see players. each other. Yes. Right. Like other yeah. girls exist. Exactly. What? Exactly. Yeah. Right. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> hey, speaking of uh, friends flirting, all right, do you remember uh, mm. Kylie Jenner's best friend who had a little thing going on with mm -hmm. her sister's ex-boyfriend? Yes, you guys remember I do. that all drama? All right, well, apparently Kylie and Jordan Woods look to be friends again, so they've put that past behind them. The former BFFs were spotted Saturday night at an L.A. sushi spot where it looked like they were enjoying a girls' night out. According to reports, the pair were all smiles as the drama that wedged them apart seems to be all left in the past. As you remember, the two ended their friendship after Jordan was discovered kissing Tristan Thompson. 
Kylie's big sister Chloe's then boyfriend and father of their then only child. True, that discovery led to an all out public feud between the Kardashian clan and Woods. While it's unclear how Chloe feels about the former friends reuniting, she did say in an old episode of Keeping Up with the Kardashians that she holds no grudge against Jordan and is choosing forgiveness. So, well. I mean, she can't really hold a grudge against Jordan when, I mean, I do believe Tristan went on to have another child after that entire fiasco. And so maybe she might realize the common denominator in that situation was not Jordan. Uh, but Kylie and Jordan have been friends for a very long time, like all of their life. And I think it was smart to take a step back, you know, while the heat was on in the kitchen yeah. and say, hey, let's mm -hmm. grow. Let's, you know, find different, have our own experiences. Yeah. So they probably did have a a great time catching up over sushi and I'm, I'm glad to see it back because I don't think that's anything that you know should keep you them from a friendship I'm huh. such a girl's girl I'm like yeah. forget the guy uh, he, you know what I mean? I do wonder if Kylie like looks at her sister like, girl, I done ended my friendship and you done had another kid with the man. Right. Yeah, right? So You're not helping me here. Right. Yeah, exactly. What do you think? Well, I think, I wonder how her sister, is her sister okay with her being friends with her again? It seems like you know what I mean? It seems, you know. Maybe it's like, I don't, don't want to kick it with her, but you're cool yeah. being friends with her. There's so much of them that mm -hmm. I just feel like is all for the show. The show anyway. Yeah. How do you really know? That's very yeah, true. That's you know true. what I mean? Yeah, yeah. Good point. All right. Well, uh, Taylor Swift continues to shatter music industry records. She is now the first woman to have four albums in the top 10 of the Billboard 200 chart. The 33-year-old's latest album, Speak Now, Taylor's version, Taylor's version, debuted at number one. It is the uh, largest week for any album this year. Um, Midnight's Lover and Folklore join Speak Now on the chart at number five, seven, and ten, respect, respectively. Uh, Taylor has also surpassed Barbara Streisand as the female artist with the most number one albums in history. Mm. Wow. Beehive. You know what that uh, means. <laughs> <laughs> I couldn't help it. It is just, uh, it really is Crazy. remarkable. I wonder if you just get to the point where... I, I mean, you're still humble and appreciative, yeah. but you've broken records your entire life, yeah. essentially. Your entire career. Yeah. That does it's it even... staggering. It really is staggering, yeah. right? Like, I just wonder, like, in my mind, like, what's a day in the life of Taylor Swift like? Who knows? Wow. Oh, my goodness. Yeah. And then her fans are so dedicated. That's really the big yeah. deal. Like, the fans are so dedicated. I believe yeah. the fans are the ones who have everyone looking at Ticketmaster side eyes because exactly. they were the first ones yeah. to actually experience what was going on with those ticket sales, but she still sold out. I do wonder if you purposely do something you're horrible at to keep you humble. Like, just mm. to remind you you're human. So, like, mm -hmm. you take up, I like, go basketball. bowling. What would that be? Oh, like, yeah. go bowling or oh, something? Go bowling. Play basketball yeah. with, like, yeah. go bowling. She bowls a strike, <laughs> like, right out of the gate. You know what I mean? She's uh, one of those people yeah right <laughs> goes golfing hole in one I mean you know <laughs> exactly yeah um, by the way so we're, we, we got to wrap here yes. but how can folks keep in touch with you and all of your happenings yes, yes you can follow at Dominique the diva or follow my new page Dominique the diva show that's d-a-d-i-v-a oh. and I'll catch you there next I time I didn't know you had a new page let me go ahead and follow <laughs> yeah. that's what I like so to follow, see follow follow love it all right thank you thank don't you. wait so long to come I know, back in right oh. I won't ever do that again <laughs> okay <laughs> Coming up a little later, Tony Award winner, Silver Spring native, hey. Miles Cross. Look at that. He is here. <laughs>